All right, welcome everybody. In today's video, we are going to be going over how to create a Amazon KDP cover using AI, specifically ChatGPT DAO E3 version. Now for this specific tutorial, you do have to get the subscription for ChatGPT4 in order to generate these style images. So I am going to go into my workspace inside of ChatGPT4. And as you can see here, I am using the DAO e browsing and the $25 plan. I believe you have limits of 40 messages within three hours. So you could generate up to a certain amount of images and then they cap you and then you have to wait. So as you can see here, I've generated a couple of images for my cover. I want to create a melanin princess themed e uh, not ebook um coloring book so this is what i put inside of my prompt in order to get it so as you can see here i'll also link the prompt below i wanted to create a digital art of an african american little girl age 4 years old and she's going to have this melanin princess shirt is going to be a little cute coloring book with a story because we want to do medium content. So I'm not only going to have coloring pages, I'm also going to add in little scenarios that could be colored in as you go. So here's the prompt that I got. As you can see, these two prompts, I've opted to go with this picture here. And what you'll do is click this download button and it'll download into your files. Here I am again playing around with the prompt. So I use the same prompt and it generated a couple images. I didn't, I love this image here, but as you can see, I like these images as well, but they cut off the here. There is a way to actually, you know, bring out the here, which I'll download so I could do a demonstration of that as well. And let's see this one as well. We could download this one and we could see if we can make it work. But as you can see, it's like a book instead of a backpack. So we didn't want to do that. And then we'll save this. So again, I decided to go with this image here at the top. And that's what I want to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to google.com and I'm going to type in Amazon KDP calculator, cover calculator, right? Because in order to do the cover inside of Amazon, you have to do, you have to use their calculator and they give you a template for it. So when I go inside of here, I'm going to do paperback. I'm going to do black and white, white paper left to right. And I'm going to do it in inches and I'm going to do an eight and a half by 11. And I want to do about 54 pages inside of here. And it's going to calculate my dimensions. Now, as you can see at the top, it says full cover. So this is the actual cover width and height that I'm going to actually do for my book. But before that, I'm going to download the template. It's going to download it for me. And it's going to give me a zip file inside of here. Now I'm going to go to my home page. And let me go back and get the dimensions. It's 17.372. So I'm going to go to custom size, make sure it's in inches, 17.3, I think it was 372. Let's just make sure. Yep. By 11.25, 11.25. And now I'm going to create the new design. It's going to open up in a new design. And as you can see, it's a landscape version with the right side uh, displaying, you know, the front cover of your book and the left side is going to be the back cover. Let me unzip this file first. So I'm going to have to unzip this file. So when you download it, I'm just going to actually copy and paste the PNG file out of it instead of unzipping it just for purposes of the video so it can go a little bit faster. And I'm in my downloads and I'm just copying and pasting it inside of here. So that way it should be uploaded. So now I'm going to go back to my uploads and it should show up at the top. Yep. And here it is. And it's going to upload. So you want to go to uploads and you're going to upload the PNG. When you download the KDB cover calculator, it gives you two um, files. It gives you the PDF and the PNG. So I'm going to do the PNG and I'm just going to drag this out to the end. This is the cover dimensions. And remember, we already created the cover size, the 17.372 by 11.25. Now what you want to do is you, you want to begin bringing in your cover. Now we had different cover options. I decided to go with one that I already have uploaded, but I am going to bring these in because I do want to show you how you can kind of stretch out the images. Sometimes it works. It has a magic expand version here on Canva. Sometimes it doesn't. 
So for purposes of this video, first I'm going to show you the image that I decided to utilize. So I uploaded this image here and I wanted to stretch this image out. So I stretched it out as much as I could and I want to bring it down some and I'm going to end up going into edit photo and I'm going to click on magic expand. When I click on Magic Expand, it has a whole page option. It has a one-to-one -one ratio option. It has a 16 by nine. It just has a bunch of different options. And I'm going to choose the three by four. And when I choose the three by four, I'm going to bring it all the way over to this side because it'll give me some room at the bottom and then also a little bit of room at the top. I have to shrink this down so because I don't need that much space. So what it does is this is a magic expand. It works like AI. And so it attempts to give you more filter inside of the picture at the top and at the bottom. And sometimes it gives you like these silly like graphics, as you can see here. Uh, and it gives you four usually. So I'm going to zoom in because I just want to check out the shoes. So it gives you a lot of white space at the top, which I don't really like. But for purposes of the video, we'll, we'll, we'll go with this one here. All right. So it gives you some white space. But at least now you have this aspect ratio of where you can zoom inside of the picture. And that's OK, because we'll have a title at the top. What I want to do is I want to actually create the border, not the border, but the margins in between. So let me move this over some. So now this is just simply adjusting the pictures and I'm going to bring in the shape. So I'm going to, if you click on elements and you go to shapes, I'm going to shapes right here. And I'm just making this small to go right here, just so I can have. Now, I don't really need this anymore. Well, actually, I'm going to make this a different color just so I know. And eventually it'll probably all be pink. So I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to delete this out. But at least now I know, you know, where my picture is. I could bring this up, bring this back up. And I could just create the whole color, you know, this color here. I'm going to duplicate this just to save that at the top. But I'm going to change this to match the same color because the whole back side to be one color. And then I'm going to move this up because I don't really like this pink at the bottom. And now we have that here. So this is how you create the, this is how you would create the front cover. Now, there's a lot more things that you are going to do to the front cover. So I'm going to move into the design file that I already created, which is this is how I created the front cover. And I'm just going to show you how to go about doing that inside of the design. So I'll be working back and forth in between. But when you go to text, this is uh, also that feature that I just did is the Canva Pro version. So you do have to have the paid version, but they do give you 30 days. So you could go ahead and do that. So a lot of times what I like to do is I like to go to children font. And when I click in children font, I like this font here, children one. And again, this this book is all about Layla going to school. So I'm going to take this out and I'm just going to type in Layla goes and I'm going to shrink this. And I also want to move this down a little bit. All right. So I have this part here. So I'm going to shrink this down some. And I'm going to click on effects. When I go to effects, I'm going to click on outline. And I want to change it to, let's see what, and let's just play around kind of like where I want it to go. Hollow, no. I want it to be there. So I'm going to change the text. I click on the A and I want it to be that color text, right? I want it to be this pinkish color text and I'm going to change the outline as well. So you just click back on effects and here where it says color, you change the outline. So I want it to be a black outline, right? Because it's just a little bit more visible. You can see it better. This part of Layla goes to school. You could also change like, let's say you wanted to add like you want some more color up here. You could go in and add in like another layer of a square. Let's say you wanted the top part to be like another color. You could definitely go in and add like a different color, right? If you wanted it to be something different, right? Like if you wanted some type of border in the back 
if you wanted it to be the same color, you could do that, but I'm going to keep it white. But that's just showing, you know, kind of the versatility of what you can do. So then I want to go back to elements and I'm going to type in pencil crowns. And the reason why I want to use pencil crowns is because I want to give the illusion that you can actually color this, you know, and make designs on it. So I'm going to zoom in some because I want it to be, you know, perfectly fit inside of here. And I'm going to duplicate this, right? And I'm just going to e make sure that this is even. All right. So it looks pretty even to me. Now I'm going to group these together. So now I can move these as one, right? This is now grouped together. Probably move this down, move this up some, just so you can see some of the, you know, pencil crown, some of her shoes still. And um, this is how you would make the front cover. Now I'm not finished. I'm going to show you also how to do the coloring pages, but since I already have them done in the next video, which will be linked below as well, I'm going to show you how to make the coloring pages. So I have the coloring pages. And again, I want my readers to know that this is a coloring book. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to add like the different pages. So I'm going to do about three. I'm going to add the different pages, you know, give it a little slant, right? And I think we got one more. Yep. So I'm going to add the different pages inside of here and then move this over. And then I'm just moving it up some. So, you know, you could get some type of visualization on the image. So do it like that. Right. So then now I'm going to click over each photo and I'm going to go to shadows. When I go to shadows, I'm going to hit the glow. So I'm just going to keep it as is. Right. And I'm just going to hit the glow. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to hit the glow for all three. Right. And you could change the color, I believe, of the glow as well. If you wanted to, you would just go in here and change it. And I'm going to add that back in because it looks like when I did the glow, I messed that one up some. So I'm going to add it back in and it's just a simple fix. And I'm going to go in again, go to shadows when you hit the photo and click glow. Yep. So now it's perfect. And I'm just going to position this backwards because I want it to be back in the same position it was in. Move it up just a tad bit. Right. And then I'm going to then group these together as well. So you can hold the shift key over all of them. And when you do, you hit group. And then I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit. I want to move this over just a little bit from the page. And I'll make this just a tad bit bigger. And then you could go to Amazon.com. And when you go to Amazon.com, you could click kids coloring books, right? So when you click on kids coloring books and I have a extension AMZ expander inside of here. So it gives me like keywords and different things like that. So as you can see, it helps you when you're actually listing your book. So kids coloring book, kids coloring books, ages four to six, two to four, six to eight, eight to 12. Those are all popular for boys, for coloring books for animals, a lot of different stuff, cheap kids coloring books. This is words to consider before. So I type that in kids coloring books and you get to look at, you know, okay, kids coloring books are pretty colorful. They have a lot going on on the front cover, lots of funny uh, graphics and different things like that and indication that it's actually a coloring book. So I'm just looking around and just to get some insight on what type of coloring books, you know, I like or what type of covers, you know, I like to create. So I want to do something where at the bottom is showing that it's a coloring book for kids ages four to eight. So I want to do something like that. So I'm going to go back inside of my document. And again, you could go here. I'm just going to go to shapes and at the bottom. Again, I'm going to make this like a rectangle because I want to put this over the over the words just so they know it's a coloring book. And then I could find like if I type in shapes, I could find like a circle. Let's spell shapes right. I could find like a circle or something like that. Let's see. OK, here's what I use. So if I click on that, I could bring that in. And again, I want the colors to be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and change this out to make it that same pink color, right? Now I have a way so I can let my readers know that it's a kid's coloring book. Let's make it a little bit thicker. 
And then I'm going to group these together for right now because I'm going to just move it around and keep it even. And now I'm going to bring back in the same text, right? So I'm going to do children one again. You could just drag it out to make it bigger. And I'm going to type in kids coloring book. Because I want my customers to know that it is a kids coloring book. And I'm going to fix this in a second because I want to make it a little bit bigger. And now you're just adjusting it. And then I'm going to put here four ages four to eight, right? And I'm going to move this over because I wanted to go here. But first, I'm going to fix the letter spacing, the line spacing rather. And the line spacing, when you do that, it just brings it closer together because I want it to be a little bit closer. And it's just going to fit in the circle. And I'll move this just to make it even. All right, so now you got, let me just make it a little bit smaller, just so, all right. And then I'm gonna ungroup this together because I wanna then group these all together, but I'm also just gonna make this a little bit bigger because I wanna be able to just give a little bit more space for the kids coloring book, right? And then I can make this a little bit bigger. All right, and now I'm gonna hold the shift key again over everything, group these all together. And now I can group these together and I'm just gonna make sure it's even, you know, on one of the pencil crowns, right? So now people know, and you can add in like your author title, like let's say you wanna put like who is by, you can add that into if you want to, it's up to you. You can put that in right there if you want to. You would just put your author name in there. But this is essentially how you would make the front cover. Make this just a little bit smaller. And let me move this picture down because you see, as you can see, it kind of cut off the her hair. And then I'm going to move this down just a little bit. And then this down a little bit. Make it a little bit smaller. Again, move it over. Make sure it kind of goes out. And again, we got to move this down some so it's not cutting off her hair. And then you would, you could also, what you would do is you would add on the back side, you would add like the images of what color and book pages are going to be inside. So let's do that. You know, you make them about the same. And let's do this one. You want to give them the same even space, make them the same size. Let's see, it looks like I don't have any other ones, so we'll add the same one in again. And again, you want it to be even, same size, the purple lines will let you know. And then I still add the shadows on the back as well, so you can see the shadows very visible here. And you can also add in like a, like a description if you wanted to. I'm gonna group these together, bring them down. And if you wanted to add in a description, you would just add in what the book will be about. Let's make this bigger, just shrink that. So you wanna leave room for the barcode as well. Remember there's gonna be a barcode underneath it, but this gives you typically the back of the book with the photos, the barcode will go at the bottom. And this is your cover. So I really love this cover. Layla goes to school. You could put about the book on the back. People know it's a kid's coloring book. If you want to put your author name, you can. It's for ages four to eight. I typically blow it up so I can look at it, see how it looks, but I really love this. I think it looks amazing. I'm going to upload this as I create more coloring pages. And I'm going to also do a video tutorial on how I created these coloring pages using uh, ChatGPT as well and how you could take out some of the grayscale. As you can see, some of the pictures, they have the, the black uh, puffs, which... I couldn't remove the black out of it, but that's okay. Some coloring books do have the hair shaded and, you know, some of them are not shaded. So it's just going to be a coloring book like that because I really like those images. And this is what you would upload as your front cover for Amazon KDP. And you would go to share right here and you would share it and you would download it as a PDF file. And when you download it, <clears throat> it'll 
save as a PDF. And when you go and you sign up for an Amazon KDP account, or if you already have one, you'll be able to upload your photo and we could take a look at how it looks in the PDF as well. And make sure you just only upload page two. So this was like kind of the sample page that we worked off of. So we would just only have page two. And yes, I'm loving it. So if you like this video, please share, subscribe, comment, and like. Share this with whoever you know may need some extra help on learning how to create coloring book pages, uh, covers for Amazon KDP. And if you like what you so today, again, subscribe, comment, like, and I'll also be linking the video on how to actually create these color and page images that you see on the back of the book and the video link below. Thank you all.